morning! Welcome to science class. This is Teacher B, and our lesson for today is separating mixtures. For science grade 6, module 2, weeks 5 to 8. At the end of this video, you will be able to demonstrate understanding of the different techniques in separating mixtures, such as decantation, evaporation, filtering, sieving, and using magnet. There are ways by which mixtures must be separated to make them available and help us in our daily activities. What are some benefits that we can derive from the different mixtures around us? In what ways can these mixtures be separated to make them useful in our daily life? These pictures, as shown in this slide, are the methods of separating mixtures. Later on, we are going to talk about them one by one. In practice, hand picking will separate the tiny stones such as that the rice grains would be more safe to consume. The use of magnet is useful in mining iron and in many process industries to remove metal contaminants from product streams. In our community, Waste are segregated for the utilization of biodegradable and non-biodegradable materials. Separating mixtures remove unwanted materials, thus making these materials available for utilizing them for different purposes. These are the different sample of materials we found at home, like water, oil, milk, halo-halo, and drying clothes. The method of separating the substance that make up mixture depends on the physical properties of the mixed materials or substances. A mixture of solute and solvent may be allowed to stand to let the undissolved substance to settle at the bottom of the container. Then, the liquid may be poured slowly to leave the solid particles. This method is known as decantation. Other materials that can be separated by this method are oil and water, and the mixture of kerosene and water. Another way of separating mixtures is by evaporation. Applying heat will cause the liquid in a mixture to evaporate, leaving the other component or substance behind. Evaporation is a technique used to separate homogeneous mixtures which, where there is one or more dissolved substance. The method drives off the liquid components from the solid components. Coffee is separated from its granules by filtration. Filtration is the process of separating an insoluble solid from the liquid substance by allowing the liquid to pass through a porous material. The method of separation applies only to suspensions because solute and colloidal particles are too small to be retained on the filter paper. In this process, the filter paper allows the liquid to pass through it and retains the solid particles. The solid is called the residue, while the liquid is called the filtrate. Grains of sand separates from the water when it passes through the cheesecloth. This method of separating mixture is called filtration. In filtration, solutions or gases pass through the filter, but particles which cannot fit through the filter are trapped by it. Separate a mixture by using a magnet may be used to separate mixtures when one of its components is magnetic, like iron fillings and small nails. Mechanical separation involves the use of tools such as magnets, forceps, and sieves to separate solids that are mixed together. 
The substances that are not soluble and mix with solutes may be separated by sieving or filtration. The use of magnet to separate metal materials is used in mining iron, as iron is attracted to a magnet. In many industries, this method of separating mixtures is economical and environmentally sound practice as this method removes metal contaminants from product stream. Alright, what have you learned today? Let us see by asking the following questions. Identify the method by which the given mixture, mixtures will be separated. Choose the letter of the correct answer inside the box. Write the letter on a separate sheet of paper. The choices can be found below. Number 1. Water in cloth. Number 2. Needle and flour. Number 3. Salt solution. Number 4. Muddy water. Number 5. Pebbles and water. Number 6. Oil and water. Number 7. Boiled pasta. Number 8. Rice grains and rice shafts. Number 9. Pins and wooden clips. And number 10. Water turning into steam. The choices are decantation, sieving, filtration, evaporation, and use of magnet. You can pause this video if you are not yet done answering this question. But for now, let us move on to the next. Choose the letter of the best answer. Write the chosen letter on a separate sheet of paper. Number 1. The insoluble substance from a liquid mixture was separated whereby a liquid passes through the holes in a filter paper. The solid particles are left behind. What method of separating mixture is used? A. Decantation B. Evaporation C. Filtration or D. Using magnet Number 2. A method of separating an exist liquid from food by heating A. Decantation B. Evaporation C. Filtration or D. Using magnet Again, you can pause this video if you are not yet done answering the questions. Number 3. Which of the following mixture can be separated by decantation? A. Soy sauce and salt B. Soy sauce and vinegar C. Water and oil or D. Water and flour Number 4. To separate rocks into different size particles for road building and other construction projects, which technique is applicable? A. Condensation B. Evaporation C. Sieving or D. Using magnet 5. Which of these is not a technique in separating a mixture? A. Decantation B. Dissolving C. Filtration or D. Filtration Again, you can pause this video if you are not yet done answering the questions. Number 6. Which of the following statement is correct about separating mixture through a filter? A. The liquid passes through sieve but the solid particles are left behind. B. Insoluble substances from a liquid can be separated by using a filter. C. The liquid cannot pass in a filter. Or D. All of the above. 7. What is the process by which water is separated by heating? A. Decantation B. Evaporation C. Filtration Or D. Sieving Number 8. What is the best technique in separating mixture of metals from other junk? A. Aided by magnets B. Evaporation C. Filtration or D. Sieving Again, you can pause this video if you are not yet done answering the questions. Alright, this slide shows our references. And we have touched the thunder before we are done with the subject.
science is a way of thinking much more than it is a body of knowledge. Thank you very much and please subscribe for more videos or you can visit www.theteacherscraft.com for more learning materials for free.